years I had a power hacksaw like the one pictured here. What a pain it really was. It got the job done, but every time I had to adjust it, it took an all day effort. 16 years ago, at the Cabin Fever Expo in Pennsylvania, I purchased this used old fashioned power hacksaw. It sat around and collected dust for 16 years till I finally decided to either sell it or refurbish it and make it work. It came sort of as a kit. The motor was the wrong size, the pulley didn't fit, and it wasn't wired at all, but here's how I got it together. mounted the metal base onto the wooden base, I managed to crack the wood. So here I am gluing it back together. Unfortunately, I had to do this twice before I learned my lesson.
Here's where I'm starting some more serious rust removal using electrolysis of water. You add a little pH plus ingredient to the water, hook the battery charger up to it with the positive and negative electrodes. The positive electrode must go to the device you're trying to rust free. The negative electrode goes to the sacrificial anodes, which are a bunch of the old bolts taken off the original hacksaw. The bubbles you see here are hydrogen coming off the part being de-rusted. The bubbles coming up from the sacrificial anodes are oxygen. Oxygen in the sacrificial anodes eats away at the iron and it gets sacrificed and ruins those parts. The good part is being de-rusted right now. Here's the sacrificial anodes before de-rusting. Here is after.
step is to put a proper power cord on this unit and cover up the hole in the motor where the missing cover plate was. I used the hacksaw itself to cut the metal to make the cover plate to cover the hole to finish the project. Please click the subscribe button below. Thank you.